Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you how you can build a more structured way of checking the appointment details when someone books with your free Calendly account. Previously, it uh, concerned about adding tags and doing automations and triggers and then waiting for a certain amount of time as well. The way that I want to show you is a much more structured way and is also a better user experience as well. So first, let's get into the booking itself. If we take a look at the booking, you will see that I just created a really simple example, right? We just have an introduction. We have the ask for email uh, to be able to identify the user inside of Calendly later on. Then we will have this book free session with the Calendly link integrated. Now, normally inside the Calendly template that we created a while ago, you would normally have a tag applied soon as the button has been pressed. This tag would then basically be the trigger for an automation to check the appointment details. Instead of doing that, you can leave the tag out and just go with continue to next step and then go towards directly towards the appointment details checker. So if we go there, the first thing that we are going to check is if the user has this specific tag, so Calendly booked appointment. If yes, then the integration and the lookups uh, were successful in basically reading the event details and giving it towards the user. If no, we're going towards another condition step. This condition step is the appointment check counter. And I currently set it to four. Uh, you can test it uh, with whatever value that you like to. I set it to four because it is relevant towards the next step. If we take a look at the next step, I'm going to wait for 30 seconds and then increase the check counter by one. This means I'm going to check for the appointment details a total of two minutes because four times 30 seconds is two minutes. And that is why I set this condition before this block to see if the counter is equal or greater than four. If it's equal or greater, greater it should not happen, but if it's equal, then we have the basically the message for no appointment found after two minutes. It's two minutes, not two and a half. I was experimenting with the different values and I found two minutes to be a good one. Then they will get some kind of reminder message, right? To either book now and then we are going to start all the way from the beginning. Or they say, I did book and then go with, okay, and what email did you use, right? And then we're going to check for the details. Now, if the details do not exist, we are going with the appointment failure message. Basically, I was not able to find the scheduled session and I will check it manually and get back to you ASAP. And this will go towards an action block where we will enable the live uh, chat automation and then also send the live agent notification. If we continue from this step, Basically, after 30 seconds, we are going to check if we can find the user's appointment details. So all of these are also inside the existing template, right? We have to get current user, search the user events, then we check if an event has been found. If yes, we can go and fetch the cancellation and reschedule URLs and then give the appointment details. If the appointment details have been given, we are automatically giving the user this tag, clicked booked appointment. And that's why at the beginning of this flow, it's really important to check for this tag, because if the user has this tag, then the appointment details also have been given and we don't have any need for this specific flow at the moment, right? If the appointment details have not been found, right? Then we are going with send the user back towards the starting message starting block so if we go there what happens then is we're going to check for the tag which should still be a, a failure right because the user has not we did not find any details so we're going towards the next step is the counter equal to or greater than four if no we're going to wait for another 30 seconds and basically repeat this entire process so in total for this setup a user has about two minutes to enter all the details, make the appointment before this message is shown. So if we take a look now, let's go towards the initial flow for the appointment booking. Let's do a test. I actually did not test this. 
this specific use case at least. So let's take a look if we can do this. So let's go. Okay, I guess let's do it. What's the best email to send you the appointments at? Uh, let's go with, uh, well, actually, let's go with my own business email. Uh, com. There we go. And now get, I'm now going to make the appointment itself. So let's do this one. Let's go with 1.30 p.m. And let's fill everything in. Schedule the event. And let's take a look if my event details are being picked up during the first round of 30 seconds, or they will be picked up during the next round of 30 seconds, right? So in total, it should take less than 30 seconds. And there we go uh, to get the event details. And as you can see, we have all the event details. We have the event name, the event date and time. Uh, of course, you can format this date and time for the certification program the participants are required to do so and we also have the meeting links and we can join the meeting reschedule and cancel basically the same as in the previous calendly template but basically the structure we have in this appointment checker flow is much more structured and also more uh, user friendly as well right so we first going to check ourselves within 30 seconds intervals if an appointment has been made if not, we are going with uh, the um, basically the failure message that we did not uh, that we were not able to find the appointment details, and then they can go from there. But you can see how structured this is because it really really works well. So if you have any questions about this new structure, then do go ahead and leave a comment down below, and we'll try to answer that as soon as possible. And for now, have a great day, take care and have fun building.